I'm Ben Hadwin. I'm a researcher in the Health and Energy Technology Group at Sharp Laboratories of Europe in Oxford, and I'm researching brand new technologies for testing blood using microfluidics. Microfluidics is about being able to work with tiny uh, microliter volumes of fluid, um, so tests can be done very quickly and very efficiently and using a very small amount of precious substances uh, like your own blood. So imagine at the moment when you go to the doctors, the doctor thinks you're ill, he wants to take a blood test, um, but he has to send the sample of blood to the hospital and you have to wait two or three days to get a result. Wouldn't it be great if he could do that test um, during your appointment in the surgery and um, get an instant result of several complicated things? A key feature of the technology is that we'll be able to do many tests on the same droplet of blood to test for many things, whereas currently that would have to be done on a hospital, on a big machine that would take several hours. It will be possible to do that within the doctor's surgery, within the time of your appointment, to give a very accurate picture of what might be wrong with you, so the GP can treat you there and then. So a simple microfluidic chip such as this, we could input fluid via input parts, um, and then various complicated electronics and fluidics can create controlled chemical reactions to do uh, difficult biochemical diagnostic tests all on this chip um, within a matter of minutes to give a result directly to a trained health professional such as a doctor or a nurse. Here we see our device in action. We've placed a dropper to blood onto the substrate and electronics underneath are splitting it up into smaller sub-droplets and we'll perform a series of chemical reactions on the blood. So in this example we are testing the concentration of glucose, much as you would at the moment if you're a diabetic. In the final step of the reaction we see the liquid change colour and from the amount of colour change we measure how much glucose there was in the blood. Uh, so there's a multidisciplinary team of us here, there are physics, electronics people, we're working with Southampton University as well and with biochemistry researchers. Um, in the future we hope to be working directly with clinicians and healthcare professionals. We think this is revolutionary new technology, it could also be used in a number of other applications such as detecting infection in hospital, uh, detecting viruses, drug discovery and possibly many other things. Um, we think in the future uh, it could transform and revolutionise healthcare, maybe in five to ten years and you'll see this technology yourself when you go to the doctors. One day, our hope is that this great new technology will help to save lives.